right. Hey, 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 it's another Sunday night. Come on in and join me. It's pouring rain here in Birmingham, maybe where you are too. It's a night to be in. Come on in and let's focus our energy for the week. Come on in and join me. Hey, Brett. Tarianne Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio in the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. Come on in, join us, join us in the circle as well. If you're not a member, come on over. We're going to take a few moments this evening, talk about what's going on out there in the cosmos. Hey, Sean. Talk about how we can focus our energy. There's a lot. There really is. The energy is already starting to come in, starting to build. We're moving into the dark of the moon. We're going to talk about, we're going to start talking about love tonight, right? We're in February, Valentine's coming up next week. We're going to talk about self-love and dropping into the heart and how that energy can help you. Do you struggle with love? Love is a big topic, right? For many of us, we struggle with it. What about you? Is it something you struggle with? Is there an energy of self-love around you? That's really where we're going to start. That's where we're going to hold the meditation. And I have found that's how it's going to help us to get through this week. So come on in and join. Comment below. How is the stress affecting you? How does the energy of love affect you? Come on in and leave a comment. And as you do, go ahead and share this. I'm going to go ahead and share this on Facebook. Share it out. Maybe there's somebody else that could really benefit by joining in with this energy of love that we're gonna move into with the meditation. I know for me, it helps. When I get stressed and struggled, I just have to take a breath and remember, here we go, to drop into my heart. So is that something that's easy for you? Is it something that you can do? Is it hard? Does it make you too vulnerable? What do you think? What do you think? I know for myself, it helps, <laughs> calms me down. All right, here we go. I shared it in the feed. I'm gonna share it in my group. Come on over to the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. It's growing, we have fun. We have some great people in here. I'm gonna post a link. You can just click on the link and join us. We're gonna have a good evening tonight. Got some amazing cards. I have to say the cards, they fell right out of the deck. I love it when that happens. They fell right out of the deck and the cards are just perfect. So I can't wait to share those two. Let's see here. I'm going to share one more group just for the fun of it. There we go. All right. So, hey. So how is everybody? Hey, Cynthia, Tessa, how are you, dear? How's everything for you? It's been a very interesting week. We've had a lot of energy shift, right? So, love. What is love for you, right? Here we are in February. Next week is Valentine's. What does that mean for you, all right? What does that mean? How do you deal with that energy? Do you embrace it? Can you open your heart? Do you have judgment on it? Why do we struggle with this? Why do we? Hey, Kenzie, good to see you. Why do we struggle with that energy? Where do we pick up these issues? I think lots of us pick it up from in our childhood, right? From the circumstances of our own family. I think deep in our hearts, all we really want is to be loved, right? To be accepted, to be heard, but to be loved. And so we do what it takes, especially as children. And so we start to associate different feelings, different parts of the energetic body with what that means for us. And then as we grow up, Sometimes we draw in those same patterns that maybe not have been the healthiest ones until we can really break those patterns, right? Now, we talk about that on the Empowered Spirit Show, actually. Last week's guest was uh, Jacqueline Marie, and we talked about, are you attracting pain or are you attracting pleasure in your life? What are those imprints all about? So if you didn't get to listen to the episode, do go back and listen. Listen to what she has to say. She offers us some tips on how to embody that energy and how to really be present with yourself and as a woman and as a man, whatever it is for you, create those boundaries of your heart of love, but let it start from the source out. So we really get into it on that episode last week. And two weeks before that, even with Rennie, we talked about, Rennie gave us a great suggestion of starting with, starting with something that you do like about yourself. What is that? What do you like about yourself? And appreciating that, offering gratitude for that, because that's where it builds. Instead of focusing on those one or two things that you don't like, right? We do that, don't we? But when we can really focus on the things that we do love about ourselves, that energy grows. I know it's helped me, so I offer that for you too. Focus on what is 
loving for yourself right now and let that energy expand all the way through your auric field. Let it open up as you move through this week so that you can begin to understand who you are and what you are and how you share love in your life. Really important. Really intense week, all right? We have a really intense week. Energy's building, all right? We're moving into, gosh, lots going on this week. We've got the Fat Tuesday. We've got the Mardi Gras. We've got a dark of the moon on Wednesday, all right? You might already be feeling that. We, and we have the new moon eclipse. Big energy, big shifts going on on Thursday. And then we have the year of the, uh, the Chinese New Year, the year of the Earth Dog coming in towards the end of that week, next week. So lots of energy, lots of shifts. And I think the biggest thing that's coming forward is that new moon eclipse energy for all of us. Already it's creating a little bit of that instability energy, right? We're feeling it. Look at the market, right? It's been up and down. That creates that instability as well. That's that kind of energy that's moving forward right now. So as we move into the dark of the moon, that's going to come in on Wednesday. You may find yourself getting caught in like a little bit of that downward spiral where the darkness seems to prevail. That's what happens on the dark of the moon, all right? The best thing to do, drop into the heart, which we're going to do in the meditation tonight, but really come into that place of balance, that place of ah, so that you don't have the judgments on it and you don't have to get caught in that back and forth and back and forth because we're going to feel that this week. I also like to look at the eclipse energy as portals of energy. We had it with the, the full moon a couple of weeks ago, right? Now we're sitting right here opening up. Energy opens. Look at it as a portal of energy. All right, this is where you can walk through it and make changes, changes that you want to make with those intentions during this time period. So Z Girl, yay, Lori Zelensky will be back on the show this coming Wednesday talking all about the new moon, the eclipse. She has some really great tips to offer us on how you can really use this cosmic force, right? She says it, the universe has your back. The cosmos, the cosmos, that's what she says. The cosmos have your back, right? That's it. Gabby says the universe, so it's all good, right? But yeah, when we can use this energy to move through those portals, to set the intentions to release the energy you don't want. Now, she even talks about this, that generally new moons, we are setting intentions, but this one is really about Double kind of standard thing. Set the intention to release. Set the intentions to let go of old behavior, old habits, past energy as you move through this energy coming up. It's also kind of in opposition to where we were in August, right? So what empowered you during that eclipse in August? Go back to that. Resonate with that energy. Remember that and bring that up. All right, so as you're wanting to make these shifts, what, what happened for you there? I know what happened for me. I know that energy, that leadership, that force within me is like, yeah, time to do this work. Time to get out there with our energy. So what was it for you as you move through this week? Don't let yourself get dragged down in that dark of the energy. Just keep releasing, keep releasing, keep coming back into the heart. That's really important as we move through this week. Laurie has some great things, and she also says, too, she also says, too, if you do this work, do this work as we go through it, you will be rewarded. Isn't that awesome? You will be rewarded. So how is it for you? Can you do that? Can you set up an intention to release? All right? Just don't let it go, but set the intention and bring it out there to release. Very important. So as we start the work week, Monday, Monday's a good day to be productive. I think it might be the, even the best day to be productive. Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to start to feel that pull, that opposite energy coming in, that stuff that wants to drag us down, but we want to be up, but we want to, you know, so we're going to feel that on Tuesday, especially Wednesday, dark of the moon. All right? This is where you want to start really, you know, tuning into your meditation, tuning into your hard energy so that you don't get pulled down and that you can stay level. Thursday, then we're going to move through the eclipse. That's when that shift can occur. I always like to look at like the roller coaster energy, like, huh, when you stop and everything catches up, right? So where do you want to shift your energy? Be a master to your energy. That's what a spiritual practice will do for you. Be a master to your energy. Then you can set those intentions and go with that energy that comes forward. Lots of times those portals open and we don't want to step through them, but let the universe, let it nudge you through, right? Let it happen for you right now. Why not? Why hold back? We're moving through lots of changes. Hey, Laura, thanks for joining us. We're moving through lots of changes of energy. And then as we move through Friday, Friday is still a good time to set some of those intentions for release. We'll find a little more balance coming in by the end of the weekend, but we've got to go through all this shift and all this change. Actually, by the end of the weekend is the year of the dog energy, and we party, right? That, well, the Chinese party, anyway. But we celebrate. We celebrate that time. We look at the differences. The year of the dog is going to be very interesting. It's going to bring forward that energy of companion, which is kind of like that universal energy that um, 
Loyalty, compassion. We talked a lot about that in the Spiritual Development Leadership Group this weekend. What is compassion? What is sympathy? What is empathy? We really looked at that too. And that energy of the dog is going to come forward with showing us that loyalty, that compassion, that reaching out, right? Traits of a dog and how a dog can really help us with our own energy as well. So that energy will be coming forward towards the end of the week. So I know as like Katie says, always in feng shui, clean, clean, clean this week. Clear the clutter, get rid of it, let it go and open up. And then by the time the weekend comes, go out and have fun, go celebrate, go have some Chinese food, do something really enriching and living, no more cleaning. So we do that towards the... So we move through the week, and then we stop by the time Friday gets around. There's Laurie now. Laurie, just talking about you. All right, Z-Girl. Yes, just talking about all the things we talked about. Well, not all of them, but what we talked about for the podcast coming up this week. All right? It comes up. Um, the air drops on Wednesday. I'll probably do a little sneak peek. All right? If you're in the group, I'll do a little sneak peek for everybody on Tuesday just to get us prepared for the cosmic energy that comes forward with this new moon eclipse. She really does. She offers us some great tips on how to work with this energy. And like she says, you will be rewarded as you follow through with it. All right, I've got a heart on that one. All right, so let's just take a moment and let's do center our heart, center our energy, and drop into the heart. How do we do that? How do we open that vibration? We're going to use our breath, and then we're going to use the sound of just, ah, as you exhale, ah is the sound of the heart chakra. So as you exhale, just ah, just wherever you are, if you can. Let's begin by taking a nice deep inhale. <sighs> and exhale out using that sound of ah, let it go. That's the sound of the heart chakra. Inhaling. Ah. And inhaling again. And just send it out. Ah, imagine a green light all around you. Draw a line. Draw just a whole vibration of green around your heart. And now on the next exhale, as you exhale, ah, let it expand into magenta. That's the ascended heart. Let it just open up. Inhaling. Ah, and exhaling. So we call in. Call in divine spirit. Our masters, our teachers, the archangels, call in your spirit guides. Ask to be guided, to be protected, to be surrounded in this love as you move through this week. Yes, it may be challenging, but call in for the support. Call in the energy as you open your heart and open up to the higher vibration. Allow it to center your energy. So we take a moment, honor, we're here in the season of winter, February, almost halfway through. Still dreaming, still envisioning, starting to wake up a little bit, though, we are. We honor the north, the east, the south, and the west, above us, below us, right into the very center, opening our hearts for this week, looking for that guidance, that protection, centering the energy, feel yourself connected with the universe, Inhaling, ah. and exhaling, letting go of the stress, letting go of the struggle, letting go. Sometimes Sunday night can do that. Inhaling, and exhaling. Feeling that heart opening up. Now, as you move through your week, as you find going through those struggles get a little much, just come back to the heart. Feel it expanding out. Feel the color surrounding you. And just use that sound of, ah, opening the heart. Bringing the awareness back. Ah, as we go to look at the cards. So if you didn't pick and you're just now joining me, choose one, two, or three. We're using the Wild Unknown. Loving these cards. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the show, they just fell out today. As I was going to lay them out, they really, they fell out into place. And the thing that came first was the anchor card. Sometimes I do the anchor card last, but today this was very prominent first. So I've got to start with this card, which is universal for all of us. And then I'll choose the, I'll do the one, two, and three on how we work through this. So the card that came forward is the five of swords. Very strange looking card, right? 
This is so in alignment with the week coming up, with that stress, that struggle, that opposition we may feel, the dark of the moon. And this is really, look, it's like cutting ourselves off. This is like self-sabotage. This is like getting in our own way. All right, so know that that energy can be out there for you. Five is also change, all right? So whether you embrace it or fight it, that choice is for you, right? That is your own choice, how you wanna deal with that. But this card reminds us about self-sabotage, about creating that own conflict, all right? So how can we deal with that? So if you chose card two, tar card two is the two of wands. I love this card. This card is being really focused. This is letting go of that back and forth with the mind, all right? It's really focused. Take your passion and move forward. Look at the colors of the rainbow. Look at that one-pointedness, all right? It's a two, so we take that energy of one, we're adding to the duality of it, and we're moving forward. We're staying determined. As you move through this, this is a great opportunity to stay focused. How do we do that? Come into the heart, all right? The heart is the passion. This is passion and desires. It's come into the heart. Stay focused with what you're putting out into the world, all right? That's for those that drew one. Hey, Vicki, how are you? All right, I love this card. I love this card in this deck, all right? A little different than the traditional deck. This is for those that drew two. This is the chariot. The chariot's a major arcana, all right? This card right here, look how beautiful this card is. This is really like, you've got it. You're on your path. Kick up your heels, move forward. No sense in hanging out in the old energy. Move forward. You've got the wisdom. You've got, the, you've got what it takes. I love this. Look at it. I love it. Look at the way the moon is there. Look at the sun above it. Look at what he's wearing on his neck. He has the tools. Horsepower, right? Chariot power. Move it forward. All right? Yes, I saw that heart for you, Sean, right? Yes, perfect pick for this card. A little red at the edges. Yes, just move through that portal of energy. It's almost even right up here represented that portal of energy. It's time, it's time, it's time to move through it. That's how you move through the chaos, right? One-pointed focus, determination. Don't be wishy-washy. That's how you move through that too. And then the third card, if you drew number three, I love this card too. This is the nine of wands. All right, this card is about, this card is about building your path. All right, nines represent almost completion, not more. All right, here we go. Hopefully I'm back now. So this card is about building those skills, those paths. You're doing a great job. Just keep it going. All right? It's about that creative force building up. Look how it's taken from the ground and the reds. The colors are starting to come up. The energy is building. You're doing a great job. Keep going. There's more to do, though. Don't get sidetracked now. All right? Keep building that work that you're doing. Again, passions and desires. Come back to the heart. What is your why? All right, this week is a good week to keep continuing to what is your why? What is your purpose? What is going on for you right now, right? Very important because otherwise you're going to get caught in this. This self-sabotage will just sometimes can set you way back, right? Plow through it. The eclipse energy, huge for us all. So use it to your advantage. Again, new moon energy coming in. Listen to the podcast. It drops Tuesday night. Set those intentions to let go. Let the universe, let the cosmos guide you right through that portal. I love this chariot card. I think there couldn't have been a better pick for that right now than this card. I really do. I just love how they're all so perfect for right now. Definitely. So again, if you drew the one, this is to remind you to stay focused. Stay determined. Don't get caught in that self-sabotage. All right, what is self-sabotage? Doubt, self-talk, all those things we talk ourselves out of, all that insecurity. All right, and that's what the dark of the moon, that's what it can do for us because of the darkness, right? Stay focused. Bring in some color. Get some lights around you. I'm so into the lights. Get some lights around you, especially this time of year. Drew two, that's the chariot. Stay determined. Move, right? Kick up your heels and just go forward. I think this is the prettiest horse ever. Look at that. Isn't he beautiful? The chariot. And then this one is a great reminder. Stay focused. You're building. You're on the right path. You're doing what you need to do. Just keep on. Keep building that stairway up and up and up. You've got it. Very good energy. All right, questions, anybody? Hey, Thelma. All right, what did Cynthia, what did Tessa say? Ah, oh, yes, honing in on what you want. Yes, I love that. All right, yay, it has already begun. Yes, the energy has already been building. It is starting to build. So, guys, really important that we take care of ourselves, that we use this energy to our best intentions, all right? Get some treatments. Get some treatments out there, all right? Some of us are offering some aroma Reiki therapy sessions. Look for more information on that. A great way to build your immunities, get out of all the 
cold and flu season, get out of that depressive downward spiral. So yes, we're going to be offering some of those sessions. Look for those as well. All right, Thelma wants a card. Sure, Thelma, with two hearts, I'll give you a card. Awesome. All right, you drew the Father of Pentacles. All right, this is a card about remaining with the earth, remaining with that abundant flow of the earth. So don't get caught in the cycles of, oh, I can't, there's not enough, none of that. This is about really recognizing all that you have in your life. Look at the beautiful rainbows and his antlers. There is abundance all around you. Tap into that energy, all right? Very important that we do tap into that. You don't want to get caught in that self-sabotage of can't do, don't have. All right, very important. All right, hope that was helpful for you. All right, so yes, big energy this week. Lots of fun things to celebrate, so do celebrate. Don't get caught in the downward spiral. Get some treatment, self-care, drop into the heart, definitely. Listen to the Empowered Spirit Show. If you didn't hear last week with Jack Marie, some really great stuff about using the voice, about women and feminine energy, boundaries, really great, about love. That's all around us this week as well. Laurie comes in on Tuesday night. I'll do a little sneak peek, probably talking about that new moon eclipse and what's going on in the cosmos. Be sure to subscribe. Leave me a comment, something. I've really been enjoying my new podcast lately. Let me know if you have too. All right. Look for more information on those Aroma Reiki techniques. They're coming out, those treatments. We want to share those with you. Hats off to all of those in the spiritual leadership program this weekend. What a great weekend we had. What is compassion, guys? What is empathy? What is sympathy? How do we go out and serve and be of a high vibration to all around us? I hope that you will tune in to your spirit, connect with that deeper part of who you are as you move through this week. Don't get caught in the self-sabotage. Clear the mind. Focus the heart. Open the spirit. All right? Thanks for joining me to your spirit. Have a great week. Talk to you on air. Namaste.